Nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. Now I know. I know why your head compound is not last long. Now I know. Stupid woman. Get out. Out. Get out. Get out. I wonder. I wonder how I've been able to manage you all these years. Damn you, get out. Get out. Get out of my house. Don't ever come back. Don't ever come back. Yes, this I certainly not. I will come back. But this time around. Don't go let me go. I will be calling. I will be calling. You will see. I will be calling you. But I will certainly not come back. Sabi, not again. I sure say you don't make a vex again. I don't tell. Okay, okay, it's all right, it's all right. I'll be there in thirty minutes. It's okay, eh? I'll, I'm coming. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. Ivy. Yes, ma. Ivy, come, 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 come. Take care of the shop, okay? okay madam. I won't go, Sabi, please. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Bye-bye. Brenda. Sabi. Brenda. Good job. It's okay. It's alright now. Right? It's okay. Hmm? Sabi, don't do now. So, what happened this time? He's too insensitive. He's only concerned with himself alone. Sabi dear, he can't be all that without a reason. So? Well, it was because I went out yesterday and I came back late. I was just a little bit tipsy. But he said I was drunk! I get it now. You went to a party, right? Um. Well, 
I... I went to a club. A club? Without him? I only wanted to have some fun on my own. <laughs> you know, I felt like hanging out with the girls. You should know now. I don't! I don't know! At times you forget you're a married woman. But what's wrong in just having a little fun? A lot. A lot, Sabi, a lot. <gasps> okay, okay. What happened after? Well, he, he woke me up this morning. And he started asking me where I went yesterday. He went on and on about it. Then he called me a drunk. Brenda, can you imagine that? Brenda, John called me a drunk. And I got angry. So? I was angry. So? Well, I... I, I, I well, I, I slapped him. No. Sabina, no, not again. Sabina, not again. But Brenda, it was a mistake. Ah, you know me now. I lost my temper. But it was all his fault. It was his fault. Sabina, I've always warned you about it. But people lose their temper. Oh, well, not as much as you lose yours. Listen, I have to be very honest with you. I'm not going to spare you this time the way I normally do. No man wants to be controlled. Especially not the way you do yours. God, you slapped him! Sabina, honestly, John has been too patient with you. And I might not invite you here. Come and lecture me on leaving. I see. If you won't take it, there's no point in staying here. Linda. Please. Please don't go. Please don't leave me. You know you are the only friend I have. Who understands me? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me that old man is not back since morning. I'm getting worried myself. He doesn't keep this slate. Probably he didn't say his name and he didn't have the heart to come back. Oh, all right. I won't forget to tell him that when he comes back. Dad! I can imagine what he will tell you. <laughs> oh, and here he comes. Hi, <laughs> Where? Old man, what kept you so long? Hi, kid. I'm sorry I'm late, eh? <laughs> you must have a very good dream. Well, let's just say I went out with some friends and I didn't realize it was late. I'm sorry. Did you see any? Why do you think I went tripping with my friends, huh? <laughs> oh, well, that means yes. Hey, kid, don't you trust your old man again? Yeah. <laughs> hey, congratulations, son. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> That's my old man. You know, what did I tell you? You know, he took after me. <laughs> if I can remember correctly, you sat for it three hours before. <laughs> No. <laughs> you, you, hey, kid, I will not let Bobsy do this to you, please. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty woman, trying to run me down in front of my kids, eh? Don't mind her. Don't mind who? I am talking to you, you. Oh, me? Oh, sorry, Your Highness. <laughs> you, uh... <laughs> 
you know something, baby? Mm -mm. I love you. And I love you like a heartache. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Darling. Mm -hmm. Sabina and John had a fight today. Oh well. That's not strange. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do that all the time. This time it's different. John moved up. It's very serious. She asked me to go and talk to John. But John vowed that he would rather die than live with her again. What? What's their problem? Honey, the complaints are too many. John complained to me in one of their usual fights that he asked Sabina to give him a child. Mm. Oh, well, then let uh, give him a child. According to John, it's not in Sabina's program. You see. Any particular reason? Well, you know, sometimes I, I just wonder how you two happen to be friends. Well, such is. <laughs> How you doing? I guess I should be the one asking you that question. See, why, what's going on? How do you mean? Probably you've not noticed the gulf between us lately. <laughs> Come on, see why. It's just three months since you entered school. Yet, I don't, I, I don't know you. I hardly see you. Come on, take it easy, okay? It's not my fault. Oh, it's my fault. For Christ's sake, see why, I've looked for you everywhere I know. And yet, have you bothered to ask how I've been faring? I mean, I've had lectures and, and it's not been easy. I, I don't have a place to stay. I've been squatting from friend to friend and all that. I think it's easy. I, how do you think I feel about it? Oh, sweetheart, um, I'm sorry. I See, I, listen, I, I understand your grievances and all. But I have so much lectures and, and everything is so jam-packed and all that. It's not easy. It's not. All right. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I lost. Oh, all right, all right, all right. It's not your fault. Okay? That's how you doing. I'm fine. Can I get a hug now? Mmm, that's my baby. So let's go. Uh, where? Um, I got this friend who said there's an apartment somewhere around, so I want to check it out. Okay. Sabi love, I can't. I can't. Were you listening to me at all? I told you he was with a woman. I know, but it won't last. Huh. And what makes you so sure? Brenda, I know John. He loves me too much. He will come back. Sorry to disappoint you, Sabi. He's not coming back. I don't understand you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I hear... I hear John is getting married. What? How? When? No, Brenda. It's not possible. No. Sabi... Sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I didn't want to add to your pain. Besides, he made me promise. My God. What? Brenda. My God. My God. Brenda, but it's been only four months. Only four months and he's... Take it easy now. Easy? How can I tell you that? 
take it easy. Oh my God. Oh my God, the bastard. Okay. I'm going to go and stop the wedding. It's not possible, Sabi. His wedding in the United States. According to John, the woman is pregnant. Pregnant? Oh my God. Brenda, Brenda, you see? You see all I was telling you? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh my it's God. Happy. It's happy. Oh, it's okay. Look at him, bastard. Look at him, bastard. Baby, pull yourself. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Brenda. It's all right. Oh. So the bastard. 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 <laughs> Brenda, mm -hmm. I have decided about what? That I'm not going to lose any sleep over John. Oh. After all, he's not the only man in the world. My life will go on. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit. But, Savi. Mm -hmm. You two should learn to be patient and tolerant. When I'm trying, uh -uh. I'm really, really trying. Mm -mm. You can do more than just trying. You say, I beg, leave me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sabi? Mm -hmm. It's a bit cute, free. Yes. Why? My sister. It's serious accommodation problem. You mean he hasn't sorted it out still? For where? He's been squatting with friends all this while. Sabi. I was wondering, since your house is close to the campus if you can like come on Brenda don't ever ask it's done so when is he moving in hello Sabi you are just a darling come on Brenda you make it sound as if it's one big thing if I can't do that, then why have we been friends for the whole of 31 years? Oh, come on, spare me. Oh, the same. Thank you. <laughs> you. Listen, I'm not saying the idea is bad. But, you see, at least it would make Cyril to concentrate on his studies. Well, you see, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know I'm not too fond of Sabina. Huh? I don't like her. You don't have to. But that does not change the fact that we've been friends since we were girls. She just decided to help a friend in need. That's all. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's not argue about this. Right? Sweetheart, if you believe it's the right thing to do, it's okay by me. Trust me. <coughs> Baby. Thank you. I love you too. Young man just got into school 
and he asked himself to check out the mother Kate. Try to understand. I know what I'm talking about. I am a woman. And of course we know when things are not the same. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But I also know it's my brother we're talking about. No, Miguel, you worry too much. Anyway, you know that my brother is a fine guy. And you're probably scared of those campus chicks snatching him from you. You're jealous, right? Probably what your friend. Stop worrying yourself. You know as much as I do that my brother loves you too much. Stop worrying yourself. Kate, I wish I could. Try, girlfriend. Else you'll give yourself heart attack for nothing. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Kate, I love CY too much. And these days it even hurts me like heartache. You can say that again. After all, you were my friend before you met my brother. But these days, you can't be like that and I don't know you again. Uh uh, Kate, why do you talk like that now? But I'm sure now. Anyway, the only comfort I have is that my brother deserves the best. And he's got it. Do you really think so? See you. If I didn't think so, girlfriend, I for don't put Santa for your garitete. For guys say we'll be friends for long. <laughs> To a new relationship. Stop kidding me. No, no, seriously. Seriously. I think it will ease the pain. You know, like making amends for past mistakes. What do you think? Well, it's not. It's not really that I haven't thought about it. Maybe I'm too shy to admit it. <laughs> How do you mean? I'm in love with a young man. I trust you! <laughs> no, it's not what you think. He doesn't know my feelings for him. And I'm sort of like scared that he won't like it. How old is he? In his 20s. No, Sabi, no, 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 no. Ah, no, no. He's too young now. No, 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 I won't take that one. Ah, no, no. But it's my feelings we're talking about here. I know, Sabi, but think of what people will say. Think about how they'll feel. They'll think you're using the boy. Considering the age difference. No. Age is nothing but a number, Brenda. You always tell me that. I know, but the thing is... Listen, let's just look at it this way. Okay. I've tried older and more matured men, and they have failed me. So, this time around, I'll try a younger man. I made it! And... I made it! 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 I
my dear. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Where's mom? She's inside. She's inside. Yeah. Mom! Mom! Mommy! Auntie Sabina, I made it. I made my dad. Congratulations, sweetheart. Yes, 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 yes. I owe you one. Thank you right? very much. Oh, this is wonderful. <sighs> Have you told your daddy? Yes, of course. I called him on my way here. Guess what? Tina did. Oh, come on, Mom. Don't tell me that is so predictable. He's my husband, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to make it a big celebration. Really? <laughs> my daughter passed in flying colors. She made all her papers in flying colors. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Thank you. What's it Congrats. 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 Thank you. Oh, well, don't forget I took her thing. Uh, don't flatter me. I am not flattering you. Mm, forget about your mother. She's always too modest to a fault. She's always been that way. Okay, I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Congrats, love. Thank you, Sister. Congrats. Thank you. Good evening, Auntie. I didn't see you when I was coming in. I noticed. You look worried. Are you okay? I'm fine, Auntie. Just had a hectic day of lectures, that's all. Poor boy. I can imagine. I think you should just have a cold bath and sleep. Exactly what I told myself. Good night, Auntie. Good night. Uh, cereal? I prepared some very delicious beans and dodo. I hear that's your favorite food? <laughs> Auntie, you keep pampering me like a baby. Maybe I can't help it. Uh, that's very thoughtful of you. I think before leaving oh. Don't worry, maybe I'll eat it tomorrow morning. Yes, a certain girl came looking for you this evening. What was that her name again? Mm. No. Nona? Oh, yes, that's it. Nona. She said she will see you tomorrow. Mm. Thank you, Auntie. Is she your girlfriend? Um. Yes. She's a pretty girl. Oh, you must learn to feel free with me, CY. But, Auntie, I am. I know what I'm talking about. You see, I am a very understanding person. And I have a listening ear. So, feel free to talk with me anytime that you need someone to talk to. Okay. Yes, Auntie. You better make it, at least, for your own good. You get? But how, do you, how long do you think you can keep away from me? Huh? You're really stretching my patience, you know that? 
Don't forget, I still have the tip. But you know, and I know, that your wife will not like what she will see if she gets a copy of it. But it's not my fault. Mm -hmm. You're just too good in bed. And I still release this first moments. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. See you later then. As you said, what's all this cross examination for? I just want to know so I don't end up fooling myself. I don't believe you're saying this. Neither do I believe you will be a, a total stranger to me once you enter school. And who says I am? I do. But well, that's your problem, okay? Oh. Because if you have anything on your mind, why don't you just let me in instead of just telling me all this? Oh, Auntie, good evening. I hope I'm not intruding. Uh, um, no, I am. Um... No, no. Right? My good day, man. I hope you're not giving a young man here hassles. Um, no, no, Auntie. I was just um, getting ready to leave for home for the weekend. Naughty boy. You mean you didn't want to tell me? I was planning to come over as soon as I was ready. It's alright. You know, this is that I'll miss the presence of a man around the house, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's a beautiful sketch. Um, it was a class assignment. Really? It's quite beautiful. You know what? I will want you to make a painting of me looking just like this. Um, well, I... Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it when you come. And give my regards to your parents and your sister. Okay, Auntie. And tell your mother I'll see her on Sunday after church. Hmm? I, I will, ma'am. Okay, right. Yes. You. I think you should give the young man some breathing space and concentrate more on your studies. Hmm? What the hell was that? What the hell was what? You, you mean you do not understand her little charade? I don't understand you. For Christ's sake, see why I think that woman has an eye for you. Nona. Yes. Auntie Sabina is my mother's best friend. She has known me since I was a child. Come on, what, what do you mean? Come on, see why. Wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee. Well, maybe you need to narrow your imagination too, okay? Between nights, the body language and all that isn't that obvious. No, oh, you know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. God, it makes me sick.
All right, Lo. Out with it. Hmm? Let me share it with you. Share what? Your problems. What problems? Darling, so you think all these years I wouldn't know where you have a problem? Oh, no, man. <laughs> it's okay. I am just tired, that's all. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Hi, Daddy. Okay, good evening. And where are you coming back from this time of the night? You, you young woman? But, Daddy, I... But what? Now, let me tell you. If you ever come back this late again, I will lock you out. Do I make myself clear at all? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Now you shut up there and stop grumbling when I'm talking. <laughs> Nonsense. Daddy, what's the matter with you? She told you she just went across the road to see the friend. So what? And that's no reason for her to come back this late. This is not late. It is just past eight. You extended her out in time to nine o'clock when she turned 18. You woman, stop nagging me, right? Me? Nag you? Look, David, if there's anything eating you up inside, say it instead of pouring it on everybody. I'll advise you to go and apologize to her. I don't think she deserved what you did to her. sorry about the way I shouted at you the other time. I was tensed. You see, I'm in a fix and I can't even share it with you. No. Never mind. I feel very bad about my behavior. You'll be able to forgive me. Am I forgiven? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's okay, Daddy. I understand. That's my girl. So you sleep well, okay? Dad? Yes, love. Is there anything I can do to help? At least, they say a problem shared is half solved. Mm, I... I really wish you could. But it's okay. I'll be fine. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Love you, Daddy. I love you too.
Auntie. I saw your lights on. So, I decided to come and keep you company. Gosh, I, uh, I didn't know it was late. I'm working on my painting. love painting women. Um, you do it so well. Thanks. It's very romantic. Very sensual. And very sexy. Anyway, Precisely the reason why I came. I want you to paint me.
what have we got? Hmm? Well, I, um... Uh... Give your thoughts, bro. <laughs> God knows I need that much, man. Told you, you're always in need of money. Who isn't on campus? With all these handouts, textbooks they're asking us to buy. Man, one needs to be marked. I didn't got someone to go through university in this country. I feel you, bro. Don't be lying. Waiting day now, boy. Hmm? I mean, what's happening? For some time now, you've not been yourself. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Don't give me that line, man. Because I know something is wrong. Uh, Wanna talk about it? Jojo, man, I'm confused. Man, who isn't confused in this Nigeria, man? Hey, hey, Jojo, be serious now. So, what is it? I'm having an affair. Congrats, bro! Is that all? Man, shut up! Shut up, man. After all, you're not the first to date two girls at the same time. <laughs> it's more than that. What do you mean? Of course, I have a headache. It's my auntie, Sabina. Don't tell me. But you said she's your mommy's best friend. Yep. <laughs> cool, that. <laughs> you be serious now. This is not something to be proud of. <laughs> okay, I was just kidding. If I were in your shoes, I would give her the best loving, man, and go smiling to the bags, man. <laughs> well, you're not in my shoe. Juju, for once, be serious in your life. All right, all right, all right. You want me to give you the, my candid opinion about this? I don't know why I'm confiding in you. If I were you, I will take to my heels and run as fast as my legs can carry me. I would have done that. But I, I seem to like her. Bro, well, you're going mad. Thanks for your advice. Thanks for your help. I asked for your advice and you're giving me insult. But I've told you my opinion about this. What I would do if I were you. What would your mom do if she finds out? I don't know, man. Shut up, man. I really don't know. To see this young man who has kept you from seeing me this past month. Brenda, you don't know him, but I can assure you that I really do love him. Hey, Sabi, you, you in love, impossible. Huh? I mean it, Brenda. It's true, Brenda, I mean it. I mean it, I mean it. 
I love him so much. You know, he, in fact, no man has ever been able to control me the way he does control me. He makes me feel like a woman. Hey. You know, I, I was thinking he would have been intimidated by the age of it. To him, I'm just like a baby. Uh -uh. I'm just like a baby. He pampers me. <laughs> Honestly, Brenda, I I would like to marry him if, if only he will have me. Wow! <laughs> hey, what's up, here? Why? Why don't you ask him? Because I'm scared. Ha! Huh? I'm scared. Hey, now wow! I go love her. Me too, Nko. I did bow for myself. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you honestly, I can't believe it. What is happening to me? You know? Oh, girl, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. You are too stupidly in love. Look who is talking. You will not fit too speed. What did you talk? You don't see the baby I been there chat up yesterday. Correct. No. Now only do I wear slap in ass. See. My dad was a boy. Hey, you see slap in ass too. Hey, you give me. Hey, you give me blows, you know. See. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some people are lucky. I wish I would have a sugar mommy that can come pick me up sometimes, you know. You want to trade places? Good afternoon. Get into the car, let's go home. Jojo, guys, I'll go see you. Yes, I'm going. How many times will I have to tell you to stop looking for me in school? Do you want to embarrass me? Is that what you want to do? Please. I'm sorry. You don't think! You do as I tell you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's for my own good. Stop crying. Stop crying. 
Angel. You're angry with me. You know I don't like it when you're angry with me. It's all right, it's all right. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. It's just that. It's just that I'm confused. No, no, it's, it's not what you think. I can explain. Explain what? And now see. So. This is the reason why you held me up for the past one month. And this is the reason why you needed time to study. I can see how well you're studying. So this is it. Because of this old maggot. Friend, will you shut your mouth or I'll deal you with you? Get your no, jack! No, no, Who do you think you are? And what do you think you've caught? Well, my dear, ask him. Then you'll know there's a big difference between a starlet and a navigator. You! Look at me very well. Young and fresh. You old cargo! Shut your hey, dirty hey, mouth! Hey, hey, hey. I'll slap you! Can you can do do Shut up! You can do anything! Shut up! Shut up! And I do for the both of you! What is wrong with you? What's your problem? And don't bother, bitch. You. I said it. I want you. Why would you listen? Now you want to leave me for an old pal. You just shut up and listen. There is nothing going on between us. Then that to the bed, see why. I'm not stupid. I know what I saw and heard. Listen, I don't know what she's up to. But I swear to you, there is absolutely nothing going on between us. You never were a good liar, Siwai. Deny it. Siwai, deny it. You've been sleeping with her and been avoiding me. Just look at you. You can't even look at me in the face. You want to tell me your wife? Because she respects me, she takes care of me, she doesn't shout at me, she doesn't nag me, she knows I'm the man! So why don't you just shut up and leave me alone? Oh my god. She has pushed you. Shit! Shit! She has shamed you. What's happening to me? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done to deserve all this? Me. Believe you when you are trying to ruin my family. No, no, we may be best of friends, but don't you ever take our friendship for granted. Not for anything. Not even because you're dating my brother. No. But why will I be lying with such a thing as that? You tell me. Because you're feeling inadequate for my brother doesn't mean you should go out and blackmail him. What chick? What nonsense? Jesus. So you don't believe me. Your brother is sleeping with your mother's friend. What? Shut up. Shut up. Can't you slap me? Get out. Out. Get out of my house. Get out. Out. And I don't ever want to see you in this house again. Nonsense. Can't you slap me? You will regret this. But I forgive you because you don't know what you're doing. I forgive you. I forgive your brother. Go to hell, bitch. <laughs> no.
boy. What do you think you're doing? What do you think this whole thing will lead you to? Okay. Sooner or later, the gist will spread. And tell me, what do you think your father or what still your mother would do? To tell you the truth, I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Siri. You said you don't care. I don't care, man. I mean, I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Now you say you don't cross border now. You don't, you don't, you don't go walk home. You don't care. Bro, think I'm old. See, why make you think I'm old? This is useless. I just knew you guys would understand. Understand? I'm out of here, man. See why? once for all. Sabina, what's going on here? I... Dad, it's... I... I... It's... Uh... And... What does it look like? <laughs> Shut up! <gasps> you, 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 you... Stop it, Dad! Stop it! Sure. David, you slap me! David! David, you slap me! You slap me because I stopped sleeping with you? Don't, don't, don't listen to her. She's evil. Go she... on. Deny it. Tell your son that his father has not been cheating on his mother and with her best friend too. 
Shut up, Nyat! Shut up! Son, don't listen to me. bother to explain. I now know the real you. Cyril! Cyril, come back here! Listen to me, Cyril! So, this is all you wanted to do? Tear my family apart, huh? But I swear by my God, if my family breaks up, I will kill you. Tell you one thing. Uh, what is it, love? You know, I love you very much. <laughs> no matter what, I will always love you. And I love you too, darling. Oh. Just that lately, I don't understand you. What is the matter? Nothing. Nothing? I said drunk. nothing. You are drunk, baby. Your stuff is stressed, that's all. It's all right. It will pass. Let me take you to the room. Is there anything the matter? No. no.
Hello? What the hell is this call for? David, I haven't seen Cyril since that day. What do you mean you have not seen him? Exactly what I mean. I haven't seen him. But he's not home either. So, what do you want me to do? What do I want you to do? Is he not your son? Are you not bothered? I'm telling you your son is missing. And you're asking me what do I want you to do? David, are you still there? David? Yes, yes, yes. I am... Um... I'm here. I, I think I better call his mom right away. No. I won't do that if I were you. That wouldn't be wise. Except you want to give her attention. I'll advise we meet at my place. And then we move from there. All right. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I honestly don't know. So you're still cheating on my mother? Oh. No, son, it's not what you think. It's true. We went looking for you together. She called me to say you've not been here since. Uh, son, are you okay? Does my mom know of my absence? No, she doesn't. You see, I... Save I... it, Dad. I'd always thought you were the perfect dad. Made my friends envious when I spoke of you. Come on, son. Hear me out first. It's not necessary. You disappoint me. And you are making the same mistake with her. I said I'm sorry. Son, don't let her come between us. And what makes you think you have the moral right to tell me that? Dad. All right. I'll see you later then. Baby, I'm sorry. I admire your courage. Sleeping with father and son at the same time. I what did you hope to achieve? I said I'm sorry. Your father and I was a mistake. Just like you and I. And you know what? I don't want to continue in this lie anymore. What? But I, but I love you. No! You used me! No, I didn't! Yes. Maybe I... Maybe I lost it after you in the beginning. But... You made me fall in love with you. 
Baby, please believe me. I love you. But why? Why are you doing this? What has my mom done to you? Leave her. Leave her out of this. No! You didn't think of that when you were sleeping with her husband and her son? She's supposed to be your best friend. All you care about is yourself. You just act on impulse. You are a heartless woman. You have a heart of soul. That's enough. I'm not going to stand here. I'm not stand any more of your insults. The fact that I love you does not give you the right to insult me. I'm not going to take any more of it. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Cyril! Cyril, come back! When you wanted a helping hand, I was there to care for you. But instead, being my friend, you stabbed me. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. the what does it look like? Sarah, you can't leave here. What will you tell your mother? I should have thought about that before. I know. Sarah. Sarah, please don't do this to me. Sarah. Sarah, what will I do when you leave me? Sarah, please. You know I'm a woman. We are weak. Please. Please. I can't live without you anymore. Sarah, I'm sorry for everything. I really do love you, Sarah. I love you too much. Siri, please don't leave me. <laughs> He's serious. Don't leave me. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Stop crying. Please, please stop crying. Okay. It's alright. I really do love you. I do. I'm so confused. God, was it real? No. Don't be confused. Don't be. Darling. Darling. Oh. My head hurts. Dave, what is going on? Oh. Can I get a cup of coffee? Don't change the subject. You came back late and drunk, and now you are avoiding the question. I only went out with the boys, that's all. You went out with the boys? Dave, listen to yourself. The David I know would have called. 
Baby. Tell me what the problem is. Maybe I can help. Oh, it's nothing. I am fine. I mean, it, it's not something I can't handle. Well, you don't seem to be doing a good job at it. Oh, no, darling. Not now, please. I'll get you your coffee. What have I done to you When all I gave you was love When you wanted a helping hand oh I was there to care for you Please help me But instead of being my friend You stabbed me in the back You have failed you have failed. That's the order. Hmm? It's an anniversary cake. This is their balance. Okay. It's a three-step cake. And they told me it will be ready today. Should I bring the cake down here? Uh, no, no, no. Take it to the house. Okay. I hope you know the place. Yes, I know the place. Okay. Let me give you transport fare. Okay. Now, wow! Let's know they see you again. <laughs> you must really be in honeymoon. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have not forgotten about tomorrow. My wedding anniversary now. 25th. <laughs> How time flies over, my sister. <laughs> I hope you're coming. Hey, I beg, just come with Simeon here. Yeah. Person, know they see him again. Yes. I hardly see him these days. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're coming, Abby? They're all fine. Okay. See you then. Bye. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me, Sue? This is not the right time. And since when did you stop caring? Sorry about that. But we have to tell her. Whether we tell her today or tomorrow, she'll still be hurt. Besides, it's her anniversary. It's better she knows that she should be celebrating. I'm fine, Mom. I mean, everything is not okay. What is it? Are you ill? No, I'm perfectly fine. It's just that. Just that it's, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, son, I'm sure it can wait. Remember today's anniversary. Don't try to stop me, Dad. What is going on here? Mom, this is kind of hard to say. But the truth has to be told. Fine. Since it can't wait, we will all sit and listen to you. Please, everybody sit. Excuse me, I have to use the ladies. No, 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 please. This 
Mom, I know this is not the right time to say this, but I have to clear my conscience. Cyril, don't spoil the party. Why this suspense? Mom, I'm getting married. <laughs> Uh, so that is it. Eh? Oh, well, I think it's okay. You're not too young, especially if you found someone you love. So, who is the lucky girl? Sabina. Oh, God. Nana was right after all. <laughs> Cyril, please get serious. No, no Mom, I, I mean it. No, son. You've gone mad, Dad. Mad? No, I'm not mad, Dad. As a matter of fact, I have more guts than you. Cheating on my mother's back. No. No, it is a lie. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Cereal. Cereal. That was very thoughtless of you. Dad. Is it true? It's true. Dad. You, Sabina, you, sleeping with my boys, why, what did I do, Sabina? So, Sabina, you have not changed. God will reward you. Now, leave my house. Brenda, please. Brenda, please. Leave my house before I do what I regret. Mom, I'm sorry, Mommy, but I have to go with her. Cyril, if you walk out of that door, don't bother coming. Why you've been acting strange? It had to be my friend, right? Fine. You have made the right choice. No, Brenda. Brenda, please listen to me. Brenda, please listen to me. Auntie, please go on back. and trusted you. But to see you do what you just did to mom now, it's a 
Only. There was no better way to do it. Then you should have thought of your actions in the first place. Sabina, to even call you that is like a cost to me. Afterward, I don't think good fr best friends are a good idea after all. I am disappointed in you both. Especially you, Siri. You have failed. You have failed. You can never break my home. This is my home, my family. Please, just get me out of here. You have failed. You have failed. You can never break my home. This is my home, my family. You can never destroy my home. Now that the battle is won, we can never, never be apart. But when the Lord takes control, it shall be well with you. You have failed. Explain, Brenda. There is nothing to explain, David. Please leave me alone. Brenda, please, wh where are you going with these bags? I'm leaving you at this cost, please. Excuse me. <coughs> David, thanks for the 25th anniversary gift. Thank you. Mom. Where are you going to? You can't live like that now. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I have to. I need time to ask. But where are you going to? I don't know yet. But I'll call you. Are you coming? Baby. It's too early to move. I'll call you. Okay? Please, Brenda. Don't go. Please don't do this to me. Please give me another chance. Chances are for fools, David. I took it. And what do I get? Except from making a fool of myself. Please, please, Brenda, please. Remember all we've gone through together. I've just been stabbed by the three people I hold very close to my heart. And you're here. You're here telling me to give you another chance. No, David. I can't make a fool of myself a second time. No, I can't. No! You can never break my home. This is my home, my family. I know you hate me now. But please do me a favor. Whenever your mommy calls you, please let me know where she is. No, Laddie! No, I won't! Why? 
So you can go and frustrate her the more. I won't. What happened to you, Danny? I've always admired you. I know. I made a mistake. We all do. A mistake you call that, Dad? Of all the women in the world, you have to be mom's friend. I am utterly disappointed in you, Daddy. Mom is gone. You know I'm an orphan. You're the only person I can turn to. I don't know what I did to deserve what has happened to me. I'm so confused. I have had in any way. Daddy, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. With all my heart, Lord, I beg for forgiveness. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused, God. slept with my best friend and now my son wants to marry her. I am confused. I don't know what to do. Lord, I don't know what to do. Daddy, how can I solve this problem? I know you don't like divorce. Lord, I me to forgive my husband. <laughs> me so that I'll be a better person for myself and my family, Lord, please. <laughs> Lord, probably that was something I was doing. I did. I pushed them through it. <laughs> Let me know what it is. So I can change, Lord, please. My son. Daddy, my son. Touch my son, Father, please. Touch him to make the right decision, God, please. And please don't leave me, please. <laughs> Lord, I saw Sabina. Lord, give me the heart to forgive her. Father, give me the strength. Lord, give me the strength. God, please give me the strength. Lord Jesus, please give me the strength, Daddy. Daddy, please give me the strength.
Hello? 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 Brenda, is, is it you on the line? Or is it Kate? Hello? Please, who is on the line? Whichever of you is on the line, please come back home, talk to me. Please. Oh, God. What do you mean, David? Is Kate not at home? Oh, thank God it's you, Brenda. Yeah. Please. Please come back home. Yes, she left the very day that, that you left home too. And I have not seen her ever since then. She left home the night I left. That is one week now. Oh, exactly my meaning. I thought maybe you were together. You thought? You... Have you searched for her? Everywhere. Everywhere I know. I have even called all her friends and none has set eyes on her. Please, Brenda, please come back home so that we can search for her together. Please. <laughs> my life is like hell without my family around. Please, Brenda. Oh, God. Yes, my dear. It's me. How is your mommy? Uh, my dear, please, have you seen your friend? Yes. No, 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 no. It's just that. Never mind. Just greet your mommy for me, okay? Bye bye, my dear. She too hasn't seen her. Oh, baby, where are you? Don't worry. We'll find her. Brenda, will you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? I know that what I have done is very despicable, to say the least. But please, give me a second chance. Why, David? Why did you do it? Was my love not enough? You know that time we had a fight over Mama cooking for me? And he left, asking me to make a choice between you and Mama. May her soul rest in peace. That was three years ago. Yes. After you left, I went to Sabina to ask her to beg you to come back home. Since I knew she was your best friend. And you know she just had a quarrel with her husband then. So, one thing led to the other. And before you knew it, she, she started seducing me. So David, I have been a fool for three years. Stop this car. Stop this car! Wait, uh, Stop this car! Stop it! Stop it! Brenda! Stop this car! Stop it! Stop it! We're, we're almost home. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. This is my home, my family. You can never destroy my home. You have failed. No, David, I don't have a home with you. I thought I knew you. An ideal husband. 
or I was living with a stranger. It's over between us, David. You're not mine. Please. Oh, please, Brenda. Please, please forgive me. Look, I know I have hurt you. But please, let me atone for it. If you leave me now, I swear I will die. You know, you've always been the strongest part of me. Sorry, Angel. I'm so, so sorry. I wasn't myself. Forgive me. Forgive me, baby. Forgive me. Forgive me. Sorry. Where have you been? I was with Ivy. Ivy! So sorry. I'm sorry. It's alright. I understand. But you should have told me. It's okay. Thanks for taking care of us. Dad? Daddy? I love you too, Kate. I am sorry I have caused you so much pain. Please forgive me. Mr. Mosgage, your happiness just because of a single mistake. And I beg you, please forgive him.
we can never, never be apart. For when the Lord 